Let's play Max Payne. Finally reached the baby's room. And the corpse is moving. No. No, no, please, God, no. Ah, this is freaky. Let's get out of here. We have to save Michelle. She's so far away. Slice him, dice him, shoot him full of holes, blow him to bits, vaporize him, disintegrate him. No matter what you do, they'll still be back, good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy, that cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Okay, I think that's the end of the nightmare. I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne, I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then... It's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. I guess I had a soft spot for a big face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. Fun times. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. And this is how you start off the second chapter. Some good old fashioned, uh, fairly Without unarmed gun, combat. I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. First thing you want to do, get some painkillers and uh, lower your pain level as far as you can. Save again. And this part can be done multiple ways. This way is the one I prefer. You hide behind the door and it didn't quite work. Yeah, let's try that again. Anyway, the way I'm talking about, you have to get their attention. 
There we go. And bring him back here. Use the old doorway trick. Just let him come to you. Don't stop swinging until you're sure there aren't any left. So yeah, we'll just do this for a minute. Are we, uh... Oh, hey, you're there. Okay, that takes care of most of them. So now I'll make a save and finish off the rest. Mmm, I don't know. I guess I'll go with shotgun. Anyone in there? Nope. It's time to break some boxes. Watch out that you do not hit the explosive because the baseball bat will set it off. And, uh, you'll be too close to survive. And this, my friends, is why you kill someone when you get the chance. Don't torture them, don't make it painful for them, just get it over with so they can't come back and beat your face in with a baseball bat. Anything exciting in this room? Uh, I think there are people in here if you don't use the patented take them or bring them to you and smack them in the face trick. Let's... Yeah, well... Let that blow up and break some crates for us. There's our elevator. We're not going up there quite yet. Still a few more things to do down here. Any doors over there? No. We've only got this one. That's not a dodge, Max. Oh, you hit me! Good thing you don't... Good thing you don't die in bullet time, I was gonna say. It's just, uh... You can nearly get killed, and that's what I'm doing. Again, just to showcase it, in case you uh, weren't sure the first time. I want to make sure you understand this completely. Just die, just die, die, die. That's all you need to do for me. Any more exciting prizes? Any more painkillers? Come on. Give me a prize. Just killed everyone. I think it deserves some sort of reward. Frankie had left his calling card. A Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. Like you, Max? Look at all the guys you've killed. Aw, poor dead people. Alright, next time on Let's Play Max Payne, we will ascend, find Frankie, and uh, give him a taste of his own medicine. See you then.